Oh, look, Barbara bought another green palette. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have a haul, and I feel like I have not filmed one of these in a minute. I think I have like two other boxes, three other boxes of stuff. I had to split it up because I, this would be like a two hour video, and that is worse to edit than it is to film. So broke it down by Ulta Sephora, Cosmetics Company Store, Drug Store, and then this haul is just a hodgepodge from different brands. So I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up and find out your thoughts if you have any of these products, if you've used them, or if you're looking to pick them up. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload hauls, I upload tutorials, I upload hair videos, we do a little bit of nails, just a bunch of different beauty stuff, and a little bit of fitness. So if you want to see the stuff that I picked up in my collective haul, I guess you could call it, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So this is the box. Woo, this is the box of stuff that I have. But I also have one other item I'm gonna go ahead and start with and get this out of the way. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen this in pictures, you've seen it in my story. But if you haven't, first of all, go follow me at Miss Barbell Barbie. But second, I have been eyeballing these shoes for a minute y'all know i love jordans i'm a tennis shoe girl since i had my knee surgery i've only been able to wear pretty much tennis shoes and like super low flats so when i need to dress up i buy dressier tennis shoes so i decided to pick up a pair of the steve madden maximas and i wanted a pair that was different from anything else i already have and i decided to go with the blush shade so this is the shoe right here. I don't know if y'all have seen these. I feel like Instagram like super hypes this pair in particular, this color. But there are several different colors. I just recently um, pre-ordered, oh, is it Vortex or something like that? It's like the red and orange ones. Of course I had to have those. But I just think these are so cute and I've worn them casually with like skinny jeans and like a white tee or um, something like that and I just think they are so cute. I love the rhinestones and they even send you Extra rhinestones just in case some fall off. So These do run a little small. I normally wear an eight in women's and I had to order these in an eight and a half and they fit perfect So if you're thinking about getting them order a half size up because they do run a little small and I've seen other reviews that said that as well. So now we're gonna move into the hodgepodge items. I placed an order on Morphe's website and honestly guys, this was probably a couple months ago and it's just been sitting. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that, but they had a sale and I think I bought just a bunch of the stuff that was like sale on sale. That's how I get a lot of my makeup. I usually try to get it like extra extra discount not just a regular like 10% or 20% off if I can help it so from Morphe I picked up the Nikita Dragon times Morphe eye brush set I I'm still not on the bandwagon with buying super high-end brushes I don't know I've heard they make a difference and I'm just not there yet I don't want to spend my money on that I'd rather spend my money on makeup than on brushes so this is seven brushes. There's a firm packer brush, an oval shading brush, a crease blending brush, a blending fluff brush, a tapered blending brush, a bullet crease brush, and a double ended liner and spoolie brush. Oh, if I break my nail. Hold on. Let me just open this up and show you guys what they look like. I am gonna put all this stuff up anyway after I'm done. But I also like the color. It's like a purple kind of fuchsia, but pretty. They're metallic, but yeah, just a set of eyeshadow brushes. And I think they're cute. So these are synthetic. Looking forward to using them in some upcoming videos. 
The next thing I picked up, I picked up another Glamour Bronze bronzer. I think this is a darker shade than the one I have. Yes, it is. I normally use Phenom. That's like my everyday, not contouring, just want a wash of color from my bronzer. But this one is a little bit darker. This is in the shade Supreme. I also think it might be a tad bit more red, but I love this. And I was anticipating being darker for the summer. And so I wanted to get something that was a little darker but your girl has not been to the pool except for one time so plans got derailed but still have a darker bronzer and i mean this kind of reminds me a little bit of my hula toasted caramel i think it's about the same shade as that so it's a good color and i could wear it now i would just have to be light-handed with it all right next we have the morphe 18b making bank eyeshadow palette Y'all know my weakness for green eyeshadows, and I have way too many, but it doesn't matter because if I see a palette that I like that has greens in it, I'm going to buy it. It is what it is. This is my splurge. These colors are so pretty. Look at those shades. So many greens. This, if there's no black. You have your transition shades, you have a darker brown, you have a kind of bluish greenish shade here. This shade right here looks absolutely amazing. That kind of drew me in, this shade drew me in. I'm always drawn in by shimmers. I don't, I mean, mattes are mattes. Those were the two main shades. Of course, this one here. So there you see those, just beautiful. I mean, Morphe's palettes I know are hit and miss, but overall I feel like I haven't had too many palettes that were a miss from them. So I don't know. I think they're great for the price. They're really good for beginners if you want to do, they're more on the drugstore end price range wise. Plus, if you get your stuff from Ulta, you can also use a coupon for Morphe stuff. The next thing I picked up is this 18R That's Rich Complexion Pro Palette. This is a face palette. Okay, I think, I'm not going to lie, but if I can help it, I'm not buying any more face palettes. I don't know why I keep buying them. I use them, but not enough to keep buying them. Like, I'm never going to run out. I think I was just intrigued because of the blush shades in here and the fact that they have, they have their bronzers in here. So actually, let's see, because they have names. So at the top, the bronzer shades are Celeb, Phenom, Leader, and Bombshell. So these are literally, Phenom is one of the ones that I have already. And then this is other bronzers. So this I could use as a palette if I'm doing makeup for someone else because there's so many different shades and this one is really, really deep. And then these blushes I think are gorgeous. This is a highlighter, but this shimmer blush, I just thought was really pretty. Yeah, and that highlighter is pretty too. It's a little dark, but again, I was thinking more about also being able to do makeup on others as opposed to just using it for myself. I picked up this Lash Travel Case. I honestly think this was on sale for like $5 maybe. I usually don't travel with lashes because it takes up a lot of space and I'm worried that I can't fit them in my roll-up bag and I don't want them to get messed up. I just thought it was super cute. It was really inexpensive. It was on sale. Let's see. Yeah, it's three pairs, not five. So you see you have the little cups right here where you can put one, two, three. So I thought that was cute to take with me if I wanted to bring more than one pair and I can't fit them in my roll-up bag. I also picked up a pair of lashes. These are the Hollywood Hills lashes. These are pretty long, but I love how wispy they look. I don't mind length. I just don't want them to be too thick if they're going to be long. You got to be one or the other. We can't do both because I just can't do lashes like that. I have trouble putting them on. They don't stay. It's just too much work. So thought these would be a great pair for semi every day, but a little glammed up, but not like super glam. Then I picked up their gel liner in coffee. This is, y'all know I was fussing about a brown liner. So I decided to try this because 
I'm hoping that it will be darker because it has a seal on the top, which I'm hoping doesn't mean that it's gonna dry out really fast. Ooh, that looks really dark. I'm gonna take this little angled brush that I have right here and see, oh, that picks up really easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead, draw a line here and see I got a lot, oh, this is soft. I don't know why I thought, ooh, that's dark. It's dark, but it's a brown. It looked like brown black, but it's brown. Okay, I would not draw a wing liner with this pencil, with this brush, because it it's not stiff enough. I feel like I wouldn't be able to get my line sharp enough, but yeah, this gel is really smooth. I don't know that I've, I've used pomades and stuff, but I've never used a gel eyeliner like that. So that was another reason why I wanted to try it but I'll keep you posted on that one. Next from Morphe, I picked up some brushes. This is the M433. This is a Pro Firm Blending Fluff Brush. Y'all, all these names, I don't know. This is their Mini Pointed Powder Brush. I picked this one specifically up to powder under my eyes. Then this one is the Detailed Highlighter Brush, M451. This is the detailed contour brush. I got this one to use for cream contour. And then this one is your Pro Round Blender brush. Is this for eyes? M510. This looks really big. I gotta open this one and see. I don't know what that's blending. That is a really big brush. I don't know what that's gonna blend. I guess I need to look on the website and see because Maybe it's too soft, I feel like, to use. Oh, why is it shedding already? Okay, had a couple bristles come out, but I feel like it's too soft to use under eyes. I mean, I could use this for a highlighter, but I don't know. I'll look it up and see what this one's supposed to be used for, but based on that description, I don't know about that. And then I also picked up a lash applicator. I've just been trying out different ones. This one is different from my other ones because yeah so this one is shaped like this and it's supposed to be really easy to just take your lashes and plop them on so any help i can get with lashes that is still a struggle for me i will take it the last thing i picked up from morphe i have eyeballed this since it came out and i knew i wanted one of the items in this but then all of the, it was on sale and the whole set cost the price of one when I bought it. So this is the Jaclyn Hill Vaults Collection. This is old, I know. And honestly, I think I wanted two of them because I wanted, where did I put my tweezers that fast? I wanted the grungy looking one and then I wanted Bling Boss, no. I wanted Armed and Gorgeous, and I wanted Dark Magic. I know you guys know what these look like. This is nothing new, but I'll go ahead and open them and show them to you real quick. This is Ring the Alarm, which is your neutrals. Kind of looks like the KKW packaging a little bit. Then next we have Bling Boss. Which I thought this one be, would be cute too because of the purples, but I already had a bunch of purples, so I wasn't pressed to get this one. And then this one is Armed and Gorgeous, which I knew I wanted this one. Why? Because it has a green in it. That is all. <laughs> a whole mess. Oranges, warm tones, and a green. And then the last one, Dark Magic, is the one that I really wanted. And I love, it looks grungy, but I think too I also lean towards grungy palettes like this because I know they should have a lot of pigment and also because this one has greens. This is the one I really, really wanted. Next, I picked up some items from KKW Beauty whenever they had their 30% off. Actually, was it 30 I think I'm kind of mad. I am mad because I think I got it when it was 20% off and then I saw it went to 30 and then I think it even went to 40 or 50%, but I couldn't wait because I was scared it was going to sell out and it didn't, but whatever. And one of the things that I picked up was already on sale and then I got the extra discount. This is the KKW Times Winnie eyeshadow palette. 
I just thought these colors were gorgeous. This is what the palette looks like. I don't know, like, I don't know what drew me in. I think, I don't know. I thought, no. This is not, by the way, this is not like eyeshadow on it. That is actually just the design of the palette. So yeah, nothing's broken, anything like that. But I just thought the colors were pretty. I like the red, I like the purple. They're a little bit different, but honestly, mainly because it was on sale. And I think I paid like maybe $7 for it or something like that. It wasn't a lot. Then this is what I really had my eyes on. This is the Camo Pressed Powder Palette. Y'all knew I was going to get this. So we have talked about me and my greens. This is going to go in my bathroom. Oh, this is so pretty. These shades like Camo, Green, Bronze. All of Barbara shades everything that I love I've been sitting holding it so I'm gonna do a look with this I haven't seen a lot of reviews on this let me know if y'all have if y'all have seen it if you bought it what you think about it but I'm definitely gonna do a video on this one reviewing it just to give you guys my thoughts but either way I was excited about it no doubt I was gonna pick it up I picked up a few random of her pressed her pigments they're not pressed um this first one is the Flashing Lights pigment in the shade Floss. I think these were like $5 and I don't normally do a lot with pigments, so I decided to try it, but I just thought this was a super gorgeous purple, blue, silver. There is no sifter or anything when you open this thing. It is just open. I feel like this is something I would play with if I ever open my friggin' mixing mediums. So that's what it looks like there. Mm, it's all right. There's not a lot of backing to it. Like it feels really thin. I don't know, is that normal for press for glit pigments like this, loose pigments? I don't use them. So y'all let me know if I'm expecting something that is not supposed to be, but I just feel like that's a little thin. But I guess if I mix it with a mixing medium or pack it on, where I guess you're supposed to put it on top. I also picked up the same thing, but in the shade Guap, which is this kind of seafoam green shade. Super pretty. I also love the packaging. This is probably gonna sit up on the vanity in my beauty room. They just make a mess. I like this shade though. Yeah, see this one I feel like picks up a little more. See, that's what I expected from the other one. I don't know, am I tripping? Is that not right? Love this shade. And then last, I picked up a Ultra Light Beams in the shade Lavender, which I honestly don't know the difference. <laughs> so this one almost looks like a purple silver. Oh, this one has a lid. So this one has a lid. Why doesn't the other one? Does it? Yeah, this one has a lid. Yeah, but this one is definitely more glittery. So that's it there. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on my finger. Yeah, that one is definitely more shimmer than the others. If these wouldn't have been on sale, I wouldn't have bought them. I honestly wouldn't because I don't have a lot of experience with them, but I wanted to try something new, so felt like this would be the perfect time. All right, down to the wire. We have three more palettes. This haul was a little palette heavy, but that's all right. I decided to finally pick up some eyeshadow palettes from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I've seen so much about them, heard people raving, and I feel like every time I thought about ordering, it was sold out. And then they did a major restock and I was like, okay, let me just hurry up and order. Didn't have a discount. So I think I paid full price for these. So you know, I really wanted it if I did that. The first thing I picked up is the grunge palette. I picked this one because they said that once this one was out of stock, it was gonna be discontinued and they weren't gonna bring it back. So you know me with my FOMO with limited edition stuff. This is what the packaging looks like. And then these, okay, listen, is that not me? I hope you guys can see these colors. 
because I feel like my camera is not doing it. Maybe if I pull it back here, this is a purple kind of burgundy. This is a deep gray brown, a cool tone brown. This is a black purple. Just these are all matte. There's only two shimmers in here, this one and this one, but the rest are mattes. I just have to swatch because I haven't touched these. Oh, these feel so smooth. Those are the two shimmers. Yeah, those are nice, very metallic. Look at that foil. Let's check out grunge. Ooh. Yeah, now see, that is a pigment. That is like straight, no see-through. Look how much is still on my finger. That is probably gonna stain. And then let's check out punk. That is a deep purple. Wow. True to color, still a lot of pigment on my finger, and that's the swatch. Up next, we have the Juicy Olive palette. Oh look, Barbara bought another green palette. This one was on my radar. This is one of the ones that was sold out when I went to buy it before, so yeah. Guys, look how cute. Look at these greens. And if it is the same pigment that I just touched, this is gonna be insane. Y'all know I gotta do garnish. I'm gonna do both the metallics. So that's them there. Yes, yes. Absolutely gorgeous and true to color. I wanna check, let's see, Dirty Martini. Yup, and Cocktails, the two. The two in the middle. That looks like a black almost. That is a super dark green. Oh my. Y'all. Okay, now I see what all the hype is about. The pigment is insane. Like, I think these might be even more pigmented than the ABH, um, the big pro pigment palettes. Wow, I'm gonna have to check because I don't think I really swatched any of the mattes. I was so caught up with the shimmers, but like when you touch them, they feel a little hard. They don't feel like they would be that, they would have that much body to them. I don't know, that's insane. It says press pigment, so absolutely lives up to the name. The last one I picked up, Vivid Rose. And I think I picked this one. I didn't know if I wanted this one. There was another rose one. But I settled on this one, I think because, let me look at it. <laughs> this is what the palette looks like. Honestly, for these two, those two shades right there, this one and this one. I just, it's something about pink and it's something about purple and it is all of this. That, okay, y'all know I gotta swatch. Pretty Peony. Flower power, like they feel so chalky, but then you swatch them, he loves me not. I think that's a very unique shade. Let's see. What? How have I gone this long in makeup and not bought anything from them? That's crazy. Okay, let me swatch my two. So this one has three. Pedal to the metal is insane. This one has three shimmers. I can't even talk, I'm so flustered. Those are the two shimmers on these outer fingers here. Wow. Okay, I definitely picked the right palette. I am in love and I haven't even used it yet. I wanna swatch the other one just because this is Guns N' Roses. Just when you touch them. Oh my God, these are so gorgeous. I picked the three that I wanted. I think I'm good that I won't need to order anything else. That doesn't mean that I won't order anything else from Gimme Glow because I think they're coming out with more face products too, like highlighters and stuff. But y'all know eyeshadow palettes are my thing. And I thought, what better way to get introduced to a brand than trying out their eyeshadows? And these 
more than met my expectations. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I didn't want to make it too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know any of these products that you might have already or what you want to see first in an upcoming video. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.